so I hide, get busy like Bill Collector. Exotic get my paws, nigga. Tell me, catch me, cross border, straight press, and we bring on LeBron. You know what it is, man? It's 3 a.m. on Whittier. Your boys is back in the building. Your boys is back on the block with it yes sir yes sir yes sir man we back in here another week man another back in the moment uh movement right here man because we moving around right now a lot but uh episode 80 yeah man episode 80 man yes sir and we are told man uh this is a uh, jerry rice right here this is all jerry rice in the making man yeah, man. If I could think of somebody else, 80, I would say it, man. But I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let Jerry have his yeah, pride, though. Yeah, I'm gonna have his time, man. Is this Jerry Rice with the hair or with the with the braids? No, nah, this is Jerry Rice with the braids, with the little earring yeah. in here. Yeah, Jerry Rice there. had the braids, man, and they started back here, nigga. Like, man, it was a crazy time, man. But episode 80, man. If y'all ain't did it already, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on this video right now. Go ahead and get to that, man. Hit that notification bell, man. Um. You rocking with your boys, man. 3M on Whittier, man. Uh, your boy Coach JR got my codes with me. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Rapid Ass Wills, a.k.a. Pop Out What You Into, a.k.a. Big Coach on the game. Yes, sir, man. But, uh, yeah, man, it's going to be a crazy one tonight, man. Um, It's a lot of stuff going on, man. So, like I said at the beginning, man, it's been big motion, big movement, man. Niggas been moving around a lot. Uh, My homeboy Peasy, man, his party got canceled for Labor Day. God. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't do that, man. Yeah, uh, man. It's been a while, well, man. The homie celebrated his birthday, man. Went to the fair. The homie was faded. Yeah, man. <laughs> the homie went to the fair. You know what I'm saying? I had me, you know what I'm saying? Got some elephant ears, you know what I'm saying? A little funnel cake. It's yeah, a wild man. time, man. Wild it's time for good, the boy, though. man. But before we go too far, man, let's go ahead and jump into our sponsors real quick, man. Yes, sir. So picture you dominated the court. You crushed the competition. Now it's time to rehydrate and recover like a champ. Introducing H2O, CBD-infused water, the perfect post-workout pick-me-up for the millennials who play hard and live life to the fullest. Purified water infused with natural hemp extract and essential vitamins, h 2 Whoa. Also can help reduce inflammation, ease muscle soreness, and restore your body's balance in its core. Don't settle for the ordinary water, man. Choose H2O and unlock your inner champion one sip at a time. H2O, feel the flow. Yes, sir, man. Make Stop sure y'all go thirsty grab. out there, man. Grab that, man. Stop being thirsty, yeah. man. Um, official H2O.com, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and grab your case off of there, man. Um, also, man, our other sponsors, man, blackonartisanwater.com. Uh, definitely, man, get ready to tap out, you know, tap into them, man. Ooh. They got a lot of, oh, pause. Pause. they got a lot of things, man, they got going on right now, man, getting ready for, you know what I'm saying, everything that's going on with the fall. So, uh, visit the website, man, you know, everything you know involved with it, man. Go ahead and hit that website up, man. But, uh, episode 80, man, real spooky hour a week, man, Jerry Rice number. Yeah, spooky hours, man. Spooky hours, so, man. man. Episode 80. But I ain't going to take too much time out today, man. Like I said, man, we're going to get right into it, man. Uh, how was your, man, your birthday week, man? Man, we was turned up, man. Shout out to the homie, man. We went out, man. We we got the club it out, man. We clubbed it out. Um, I really didn't get to hit the food scene like I wanted to, man, because, you know what I'm saying, the homie be doing all the spots. But we had a good time, man. Um, Lizzie off the Julio, you dig? So, yeah, it was it, it was it was a monumental night, man. Now it's back to the lab, man. We going back in that studio this weekend, get some work done, get back to the music, you know what I mean? Yes, but, sir. man, hey, I was blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. Appreciate it all, man. I appreciate everybody that gave me a shout out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Everybody show love. I appreciate that though, man. For real. Thanks, man. Definitely, man. Shout out to the homie Wills on his birthday, man. Um, shit, man. I ain't getting too much, man. I popped out with y'all for a second, man. That was about it, man. But um, like I said, I was in here working, man, getting to it, man. I wasn't really doing too much after outside of, you know, uh Southern Brain Bro birthday when I popped out with him, man. But um, yeah, man, besides everything that was going on out here, man, in the streets, man, um, I did, man, get to go, you know what I'm saying, hang out with my, with my auntie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, shout out our cuz, man, she yeah. had a baby shower this weekend, so shout out cuz, having her first child, so shout out my cousin yeah, Alicia, man. man, shout out to her. Got to do right. that, man, and uh, also, man, um, my nephew, man, um, shout out to my nephew Kyrie, man, uh, seventh grader, man, went ahead and uh, he they won their first, you know what I'm saying, middle school game. Right? Did his thing? 
did his thing, bro. Oh, big man on okay. camp. I told I told my moms, I was like, hey, yo, he gonna be big man on okay. camp. <laughs> and he gonna be walking through the hall like yeah. uh, Zach and Slater and I'm saying by the bell. It took me back, bro, because, you know, I'm like, damn, bro, man, you know, I'm getting to see it. You know, this is my nub, so I'm getting to see it firsthand. Again, it's like it bring you back to when when you was, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for us, you know, coming up, coming up, you don't get to, like, play, like, tackle, you know, real football until that seventh grade. Yeah. But he been playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, doing it for the last eight, Yeah, he been seven. doing this, yeah. He been doing this, like, at least about seven, eight years, man. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I was just like, <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm just being honest, bro. I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. Left about to have a, he about to have a always on tilt tomorrow. <laughs> hey, he might get some free lunch tomorrow. Yeah, he might man. get some free he, lunch, man. He might get a number passed to him, man. You he know, he gonna feel like the man when he walked through. Man, rich homie one. <laughs> rich homie, <laughs> RP my homie, man. But, but definitely, yeah. man. Shout out to my nephew, man. Randolph Middle School, man. Yeah, they won. Man. They look, you know, first game of the season, man. So definitely. And his birthday to tomorrow. Birthday tomorrow too, man. man. Shout out my shout out little nephew Kyrie, aka Kill Marker, man. Keep doing your yeah. thing, young thug. I'm gonna get a bottle for him, but I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a bottle, you know, to honor him, but I'm gonna drink it. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's some ace boy shit right there, man. Get lit, man. Happy Taking birthday, shots, man. Taking shots with Kyrie tomorrow, <laughs> bro. But uh, episode eighty, man. We in here, man. Uh, it's a spooky hour week, man. If you ain't did it already, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this video right now. Bell, Hit that man. bell, man. I ain't even hear you say big culture today. I don't even think I heard that. I said you. big culture on the game. Right. My bad, yeah, my bad, game, man. Yeah. We'll do it for the culture, that's all. Definitely, man. But let's go ahead and get into it real quick, man. Uh, first things first out there, man. What we got? Uh, let's get right into <clears> it, man. Um, everything's been going on about the Little Wayne getting left off the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are salty about it, uh, except him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. really ain't heard him say nothing, but it seemed like, you know, Wayne being his own world, so I don't really think... He wanted to do it, but I don't think it's really. Wayne like, got class, man. Yeah, Wayne ain't really caring about that. We ain't gonna get his, but he got a lot of people that's been speaking against Jay Z, man. Like Jay Z actually picked, you know, for people information, Kendrick Lamar was awarded the Super Bowl performer, right? And it's gonna be in um, New Orleans. Right. You know what I mean, and people was outraged that you know Wayne's from there. He's a legend. We can't take that away from him. That's, you know, he's top five dead or alive. He's top five, bro. And, you know, they felt he was slighted in there. Um, but how, though? I mean, um, I think with a lot of people, man, and just going into it, like, I think with a lot of people, man, they're trying to compare it to what happened, you know what I'm saying, last year in L.A. Yeah. And yeah. it's not all about that. Don't get me wrong. That was monumental for them to be able to do it with Dre. Because you got to remember, this is Dre performance. This wasn't Eminem's or... or uh, uh, 50, uh, 50. this was Snoop. Dre's, you know what I'm saying, performance. So, you know, he brought these people out. Yeah. But you got to remember, though, this was in L.A. Dr. Dre is a global, you know what I'm saying, yeah, he's type inter of... He's international. Yeah, and, yeah I mean, right. like, in the tech world with the, the Dre beats, man, to the, you know, being one of the biggest, the greatest producer all the time, of all time, arguably. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, signing, having one of the biggest, I mean, he's... He's a, you know what I'm saying, gangster rap. He's damn near like, you know what I'm saying, like the, the, he's the OG of it. I want to say he's the inventor, but. The, he's the ambassador. He's the ambassador, bro. Uh, you know bro. what I'm saying, like that's the West. Everything mm -hmm. Dre touches, you know what I'm saying, goes, you know what I'm saying, platinum, diamond, whatever, even, you know, shit. I don't even want to say even go because he's been surpassed that. Yeah, Dre in another category, though. But just to getting, re just getting right to it, though, like Wayne, we all want to see Wayne do this, man. We do. Yeah, for the culture. For the culture. Actually for the culture. But my biggest thing, though, bro, is the people that thought that Wayne was going to bring them out. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas thought they was going to get on the Super Bowl, yeah, man. I, I, was like, I was hearing the people talking like, nigga, you wasn't bringing you wasn't on bring there? It. What? Like, he was overlooking y'all niggas so quick, bro. Like, I don't understand, Like, I don't think a lot of people understand, like, it's a... It's a market, bro, for everybody, man. But as far as with the Super Bowl, man, it's a certain market that they're, you know, marketing it this, this too right now. Like, this has got to be to global kids. This is global, bro. This is the most watched game of every year. Event. I event think. of yeah. the year. Every year is the biggest watched event is the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, man. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what Turk and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know... If nah, not even just Turk, bro. Like, it's like, don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, I mess with everybody, bro. But I'm like, man, like, the niggas that thought, like, just stepping up and talking, I'm like, yo, if your name ain't Drake, if your name ain't Nikki, 
And Nikki Wild and Lil, she on the edge of that too. Like, you might not get on the stage either. You know what I'm saying? I think she will, but I'm just saying, like, I, if your name ain't Drake or Nikki, you really shouldn't even be like, and then they shouldn't really be saying nothing because they wasn't chosen to be up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, the, to the, you know, shout out to Juvie, man. Shout out to Master P, bro. But y'all wildin'. Y'all wildin'. Boosie, bro. bro. You was not hey, in that Boosie, stage, man. bro. Hey, Boosie, bro, you, hey, you my nigga, man, but, hey, just settle for being at the game, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, bro. Let alone on the turf, nigga. You ain't going over there. I'm wild sorry, for man. that, bro, man. But I feel like they just taking it away from Kendrick's uh, moment, though. Yeah, they, they it kind of is. And then, you know, Kendrick's so quiet. Like, Kendrick ain't said nothing or, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate yeah. y'all picking me for performing at the... It just been quiet, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's crazy, though, because... I don't like the narrative being pushed that it's all Jay Z. You know what I'm nah. saying? Everybody and their mama like, oh, Jay Z, Rock Nate, bro. Do they yes. forget that Jay Z, bro? You know, before Jay Z, you know what I'm saying, got this, you know what I'm saying, job of, you know, like the, what is he, like the the head of music or whatever for the, you know, the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, for the Super Bowl, for the NFL. Before he got that, bro, man, you wasn't getting easy. You weren't even getting rappers. Man, you was getting Celine Dion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Taylor Swift. Beyonce, Rihanna. Beyonce. You yeah. know, and nothing wrong with that, but now we're starting to get rappers and other artists. You used to get more there. rock groups yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Back there, man. But my thing was like, Jay Z does have a hand in that, but he's not the one that makes the final say, bro. It's a nah. team of people that agrees on this stuff. Yeah. Bro. And he works with them. So he ain't just pulling something out of hat saying, oh, it's Kendrick. Because Kendrick is. Justify for being that performer. He's yeah. a generational artist. Global talent you know out saying? there, bro. Everybody but knows. But it's me. just sad, though, that the narrative, you know what I'm saying? Now, if it was white people, they don't care if the person from they New make Orleans, they don't care if he's from Cincinnati. Yeah. But it's just us. Like, oh, he's from New Orleans, so he got to be. No, he don't. He don't, bro, but we would have liked to see it. But though. it would have been big, like nice. I said, for the culture. Because Wayne is, like, he has, like, when people say that he don't have the songs, that's Cap. That's Cap. You know what I'm saying? They say that he doesn't have the celebrity, that's Cap that's as well. That's super Cap. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, in the same instance of it, man, it's just like an algorithm thing, bro, man. Right now, Kendrick is popping. His music does reach a different, you know what I'm saying? I would say plateau of where Wayne music may be reaching right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, tell it, like, Taylor Swift, she came out after Beyonce. Obviously, man, like, she's a younger to Beyonce, but her music is bigger than Beyonce, I can say, bro. Like, to, to like her fan base is bigger than Beyonce's. I mean, that's arguably, I think it is, though, Taylor Swift. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I, I mean, I mean, I may not, just because you're not messing with Beyonce's or, or, or uh, Taylor Swift's music more than you listen to Beyonce's, that don't mean her fan base ain't bigger. Oh, no, she has a very huge fan base. That's like, base, old girl, you know what's her name? Um, the one that's married to, uh, or, the, or that's dating uh, LeBron, uh, homie. Oh, you talking about the... Uh, Adele? Adele, yeah. She yeah, she can drop spoiled. an album and it sell two, uh, two million in the first week. Yeah. You know what, you I'm, know saying? what I'm saying? So that, and, that's, and that's the thing, like you say, that people have to get out of, just because you're not listening to them other people, because everybody has a fan base. Everybody has people that's making them that big of a star, of an artist. Yeah. We say this all the time, bro, man. There's people that's out here that's making millions of dollars, bro, that is not on the radio. Yeah. And you ain't never heard them on the radio. This, the biggest the biggest uh, one that you can look at for that, bro, and people should see that, you know, when they say, like, yo, you got to be on the radio. You got to be on these MTV Awards stuff. Look at look at NBA Youngboy. Yeah, man. You name me one NBA Youngboy radio record that you have. I don't know the one. <laughs> but he's definitely surviving, man. <laughs> and I don't want to know what. No, I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, young boy, our guy, yeah, man. But nah, man. But uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. And Nikki was talking real spicy. I guess she couldn't even hold her tongue no more. Nikki was yeah. like, Jay. She was specifically saying the nigga name. I'm like, yo, you can't be that yeah. bitter. I was with, I was with her, bro, <laughs> until I seen that man. She started spazzing out on Jay. Then she started spazzing on Stephen A. Smith, bro, man. Yeah, now, we gonna get into that, Steve, bro, man. man. But uh, yeah, Nikki. She may not be like I'm saying. She may like yeah. Yeah, she she talked. Yeah, she talked her way off any type of. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think that she'll be making no stage appearances at the Super Bowl coming soon, bro. Nah, not no time coming soon. She just started her tour back up, so she gonna get that bag. But that Super not Bowl not that type is, of bag, bro. But they don't pay you for the Super Bowl. No, you're not paying yeah. for the Super Bowl. But it's a hell of a, a hell sponsorship of a promotion, and um, promotion, bro. But before we get off that though. Because we've been talking long enough about, you know, all the stuff that, you know, how the people feel. Do you feel that Kendrick or, you know, do you think that Kendrick will perform that they not, uh, they not like us? Of course. Damn. I feel like he ain't going to do the whole song. I believe he's going to. Why not? 
I believe he's going to let the intro ride. I don't know if they may cut the song where he just come in with the chorus or he might just do like, you know, like the start the verse and then stop it and then go into something else. He's but a he's, wild boy. He's definitely going to bring it out. I don't bad. think he's going to do it, bro. That's a wild one, bro, because if you perform but a big song. He cannot not do it. It's a big record, bro, but I think he's going to be. That's his biggest record. Is it? He like, it broke all records for streaming. It's his biggest. I don't know, record. man. I gotta look back into that because, like, is it is it, it you know it his broke biggest all record all like the streaming the biggest this streaming you know for bro him? look bro it broke all the records for streaming it broke break Drake's old records. <laughs> Performing thing, I ain't, I ain't, you know, I want to hear it, but I'm just saying, I thought he was gonna go more of the poetic justice route, man. The that they gonna be all right, you know, route. You know what I'm saying? The the uh, loyal, what's it called? Loyalty, loyalty, like that. You know, with yeah. Rihanna and whatever. He, he may do those, but he I got some joints. That they not like us is definitely gonna slide in, and I'd be like, damn, Drake, that nigga, he can perform that at the Super Bowl. That's gotta be like everybody and their grandma heard that song now. Hey, man, we will be tuned in for it, bro, man. Super Bowl, man, you know what I'm saying? Party 2024, or 2020, yeah, 2025. Uh, that's my birthday, so, uh, you know, we definitely gonna, we gonna go up that week, man, Super Bowl week, man, as well as, man, you know, All-Star Weekend is like damn near right after that. Yeah, it's gonna be like that next month, man. NBA you gonna have some tickets or something? No, 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 no. Oh, that shit getting too near. It ain't, it ain't the way <laughs> But y'all might catch us out there, depending on where it's at, man. We're going to the, we going to the tailgate, though. Yeah, we're going to the tailgate, bro, man. But another thing I want to jump into real quick, man. This is going to be a quick one, man. Tory Lanes, man. Free him. Free the woe, man. Um, they done really went into Tory Lanes' cell, bro, man. They done took all my man Pro Tools. They took his Cubase. They took the they took the fruity loops, they took all that. They bro. took the crayons, he used to write the lyrics. They don't took Man. everything. They don't want him to be creative at all. They said he had cakewalk, they took that. So they were yanking cords out the Bruh, That's cool. dirty, bro. Cause like, why y'all I mean like he in the, you know, he in the jam, he in the, you know what I'm saying, the clinks right now. But he can't record music and do something to better himself, bro. What are, you Not know? at all, man. They don't want that man to have no normalcy. They like, nah, we want you, you you a felon, nigga. We want you to really live this. That's, wild, That's crazy, though, man, because, you know, like I say, he was breaking records. He was uh, releasing, like, a Spanish and then another album in another language, so he was really there playing with the words. He like, bah, bah, da, bah, da. You know, he was on that type yeah, of shit. He was trying, man. So it's crazy, though, but I knew something, you know, when it's something, something come out of jail, and especially when it sounded that clean, they're like, oh, they was hey, no. knowing this song, they was like, hey, knowing them, bro. They're like, they damn, man. Hate. Sound like Dre mixed this mug, bro. Like, man, <laughs> I don't know who his engineer was or who got on the equipment he needed. Yeah. Well, boy, it was on mics better than he. I was like, God <laughs> damn. I'm like, what you using, bro? And that is crazy, though, man. Dude had a, a nice sounding, polished album. Polished. He, he locked up, but his spirit ain't locked up. Yeah, that, that's what I like to see about Tory, man. He is down. I think he eventually end up getting released earlier than what the 10 is saying. Yeah. But I, he in very good spirits, though. He was doing his music. He was still, you know, reaching out to fan, had projects dropping. And just to see them do that, it's just like, damn, man, Set nigga back, can't man. win, bro. Like, like he what in you there, do? I see if, you know, if he was in there doing something, you know, like, you know, destructive, man. He in there writing the book and tearing her down. No, he ain't even dissing her or nothing like that. None. You know, he in there really just recording, you know, good music, and he was dropping some bangers. He was dropping them bangers. I couldn't believe he did it in jail. I was like, damn, man, this can't be through no phone, nigga. Nah. That's wild, bro, man. We had equipment, man, so nigga. The boy, that nigga had that with audio techniques. And <laughs> That's wild, bro. They took the task cams and everything. They're like, God damn, you gonna take the task cams, <laughs> man? the task cams, man. Damn. But, but while you diving into that, though, um, I just heard that Blueface got transferred to the same prison. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. I they could have got the collab right popping. Nah, we don't want that, bro, man. I mean, it was going to be crazy. Bro. But, hey, man, Blueface could have came through from five to seven and at least recorded something on his project. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we don't want that, bro. You don't want that he either? Can let, he can let Blueface use the equipment. That's what I said. You know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, them, like, gelling and doing something together, nah, bro, man. And my boy Blueface words, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's it's see. Like, that's what we don't care about, bro. Yeah. But Blueface, though, man, like, Blueface, man, like, with the whole thing, when he worked with old girl, man, his uh, baby mom's. Yeah, uh, Jada he, Alexis. Yeah, when he She just shot a new video. She getting back out. Do we want to hear that? That's what I don't care about. You know I'm not going. <laughs> she had a but, bop, though, that first time. Yeah, the first one was a bop. You. But what I was getting to, like, with him working with baby moms and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, and... 
showing like his writing, you know what I'm saying, his writing abilities that he got. I think that, you know, Booth, I mean, I never, when he first started, Blueface was trash, trash. Like, yeah. Like, he was running from that beat, bro. Like, <laughs> we, we, we from Michigan, bro. We the, we the inventors of running or being off beat on some time. Rap the whole Just keep beat it on. off. Yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it was a time, bro, man, where, you know, he used to listen to niggas from Detroit, and he used to be like, yo, these niggas is running from that damn beat. Bro. Running, they ain't want to get on that. But it's funny, though. Everybody knows, you know, from back home, they don't beat none. I don't yeah. know a nigga that don't, that rap off, like, just rapping off the beat. It's like at some point, you got to catch that motherfucker. It's, it's a wild one, man. But. Yeah, he was struggling with that. But, man, yeah, they in the same prison. That's crazy, though, man. Like, it's like, damn, bro. Yeah. Like, I know when they see each other in the chow line, they going to be like, oh, blue. <laughs> blue. They should link up, though, man. And, you know, you know, I mean, not create no music, man, but, you know, man, definitely. Create some music, man. You know, rig out, man, and, uh, you know, get like a study group together or something like oh, that, man. Damn. This nigga true. Convert your life to get you that right, man. That's what you, I mean, that's what I be on, man. Like, uh, Yeah, you ever go in, you straight turn a Muslim. You straight move. Nah, I'm Christian, bro, man. Yeah, yeah you going to convert bro. on over. Like, Allah. Shout out to my Muslim, my ox out there, man. You know, shout out to him, man. But definitely, man, shout out to, you know, Tory, man. Shout out to Blue. You know what I'm saying? Blue. Blue. We will be, you know, keeping y'all updated on that, you know, situation. That look man. like Harry Monster in that new mug shot. Wild <laughs> <laughs> well, thing, man. But... Uh, Diddy, man, Diddy's outside, man. He is outside. That's where he need to be. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, I guess you want to get as much, you know, fresh air as you can before you yeah, go do this, man. You gotta be sleeping on the on the on the balcony, man. <laughs> Breathe that fresh air. <laughs> Feel good, don't it? It's a wild one, man. But Diddy, man, he's seen outside with G'd up, man. Uh, former bad boy artist, man. Special delivery. Yeah. Get yeah. this money, take this money. Ain't yeah. no way you can take this from me. Yeah. He's with him outside. Um, the whole thing with Diddy, bro, I'm going to say, man, Diddy, being, Diddy hang around niggas that he would never hang around if he was, like, now. in his good space. Yeah. <laughs> you say he just hanging out with Carl Thomas and all of them. Yeah, niggas. Like, bro, man. it's like, you know, picture if it was a nigga that, you know what I'm saying, that you just never hung around from high school or whatever, man, and you just, hey, yo, man. become your day one. Yeah, he just your day one now. Like, I was like, <laughs> it's kind of weird with Diddy, but I get the play, though. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Man. Hey, man. I mean, I don't... That is crazy, though, because I'm just picturing... He was in Harlem, so he went back to his... He's from Harlem, so he went back to the city. Okay. Probably like, let me see the hometown before I go down. You know what I'm saying? Let me go breathe this Harlem air, get a cheesesteak or something. And I just think... I'm real talk. I just think the nigga ran into him, because I don't think g Depp was a nigga. He was like, oh, g Depp in town? Nah. Tell Playboy I'm going to pull up on him real quick. No, he just had to run at that nigga like a bug. But the, the, the comfortability of... Uh, of uh, Diddy outside right now. That's kind of crazy, though, man. It's crazy. Like, ain't nobody, like, walking up on that nigga. Like, when, when OJ was outside, they be, they be walking up on him like, killer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, when R, I know when R. Kelly was outside, bro, man. They was walking up to him saying molester and rapist, everything. He was just in the McDowell eating fries. You know? So, I'm like, yo, how Diddy is not, you know, be impressed? I ain't saying that he need to be pressed. I'm just asking, like... That nigga got a lot of powers. Shit, unless he got them armor security niggas you ain't seeing on camera that's going to come up and mess you up. But, yeah, he out there just walking through the beaches, walking through the city streets, walking through traffic, yeah, man. on bikes. But uh, another thing I want to jump into with Diddy, though, man. Um, Diddy, man, lost a $100 million lawsuit. You know, he, he had a default judgment placed against him, man, for a lawsuit, man, that took place. From a guy, man, that basically said that Diddy sexually assaulted him back in the day. This guy said Diddy oh, sexually God. assaulted him back in the day. But the but the crazy part about it is though, dude did this from prison. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this was prison, bro. I mean, if that ain't the wild, that's what I'm saying. Diddy a wild boy, bro, because dude in there, you know, gelling, ain't telling. You know what I'm saying? But he filed a lot, he seen everything going on out here, and he was like, yo. Did he touch me, bro? Like, oh my God, nigga got in the law library and got busy. That's crazy. Not to get out of jail, he got in the law library to go get his, you know, <laughs> get the, the lawsuit. <laughs> his lawsuit started. popping, bro. But you know, coincidence, coincidence that he, he from Michigan. He locked up in Michigan. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's in Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Jackson, Whatever. Correctional. But he's in jail, bro. He did a lawsuit from jail, bro. He, you know, he. You gotta remember this, bro. He got awarded this on a default judgment. That's crazy. That nigga locked up. 
How he how he make it to the court date and you ain't make it, bro? He you damn free. sure ain't show up to the court date. That nigga, unless it was via uh, FaceTime. Yeah, man. via, uh, you know, uh, Zoom or whatever, Zoom, bro. Zoom, whatever they use in that moment. But how you feel about that, though, man? Diddy got a lawsuit from a dude. He, it's, it's one. He just lost $100 million, bro. Dude, that's crazy, dog. Like... I know my nigga moving around. It kind of remind me of the game when he didn't show up and lost his judgment. But it's kind of like, night? yeah, it's kind of like a hundred M's. But I heard his team had tried to settle out for like two point five million, and the nigga didn't take it. I said, damn, the nigga offered you two point. So that tells me a nigga offered you two point five. Like he fondled him. Yeah, and this <laughs> shit was like in 90, 96, 98 or something. Damn, I was like, bro. damn, bro, and he a big nigga too. I was like, so he spiked your drink. And had a good time with you. That's it's wild, man. Bro. You a wild boy, Diddy. I don't even know, but a hundred M's that ain't nothing to laugh at, bro. Bro, if uh, can't no man get no hundred, can't no man put no get no lost school off on that because ain't no time, ain't no shit like that in my in my in my repertoire out there. Ain't nothing in my motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's that. in jail though, man. So to me, when you have to even you know what I'm saying, settle. That's to me that admits you know your guiltiness right there, bro. Which we already kind of know that Diddy is what he is, bro. Man, you know what he turned into a predator, man. He, Not he, yeah, the he, predator. He, but the thing about man. it, it was just the thing about Diddy being gay at the time, which nobody wouldn't you know pressing. They're just like, yo, why don't you just come out and be you know yourself? But Ooh. now it's like, yo, this nigga's taking it from men, bro. Yeah, man. Ah, man, that's wild, bro. Man. Damn, Diddy, man, why you? And then I gotta think about the nigga in prison, man. He's seeing all them lawsuits coming across, nigga, like. You know what, man? He talking to a nigga in the cell eating his honey bun and his you know, ramen noodles. Like, yeah, man, that nigga got me. What? Yeah. Got me, man. I'm to tell you. I woke up, ass in the air. Hey, pause, man. Pause, see your pause. But that's man. crazy that you filed that lawsuit, but it's just like. You got to be a bold person. You got to be file, a bold nigga, but 100 uh, M's? To file a, law, a lawsuit, bro, while you locked up in prison, bro. And you got to remember, you got to walk around with that on your, you know what I'm saying, on your record, bro, on your, on your, on your, on your sheet there that, hey, yo, yeah. man, I got my, you know, something happened to me like that. And then you also got to think about the extortionist niggas. Like, you just want a hundred M's, nigga? <laughs> I'm about to hang you up by your feet off your bunk bed, nigga. <laughs> we about to get this. You going to give me at least ten. You got a hundred? Oh, nigga. Man, I need a hundred honey buns Hit right that now. J-Pay, nigga. nigga. Like, we finna be eating good, nigga. Facts, man. But, hey. This is a wild one right here, man. Um, we still have not seen the grand jury come down, but I believe that is slowly but surely, man, trickling down the damn line yeah, of it, man. They only got so long to only do it. Only so long, bro. So I, I said Labor Day, I was off. So yeah. I'm going to give it to about the end of September. <laughs> they ain't going to let him make it Halloween because he, he do too much on Halloween. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I mean? So, so they ain't going to let him. Yeah, that's his favorite holiday. Yeah, he ain't going to let him. He ain't going to let him make it down, Halloween, man. nigga. But... Duffy, man, uh, can't shout out Diddy again on that one. It's been a, a 0 for 31 on shouting out Diddy, man. Man, so, man, no Diddy, man. No Diddy right now, man. Nah, but man. we never will stop playing your music, brother, man. We won't do that, man. Take that. But uh, Tyrese, man. Tyrese, he's a wild boy. That boy been wild since that new album came out. He got a new album? Yeah, that's what he... Nigga, why you think he been out here doing these, the Breakfast Club? Oh, He's I ain't know. I thought he was... new album. Man, I thought he was on the Child he, Support he Tour. He done did so much shit. Niggas don't forgot the album came out, bro. Yeah, I thought he was on the Child Support Tour, man. I thought that nigga was out here, man, uh, pleading his case. <laughs> no, nah, man. His label told him, man, you got to record some music, man. The child Support Office calling us. <laughs> <laughs> but that shit, it's funny, but it ain't funny, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, niggas go through this shit, bro. Like, you know, they go through this bullshit, bro, and... From my understanding of it, bro, like, you you let me know if I'm wrong. Like, I guess that he was, like, you know, supposed to be paying, like, 11, 11 k a month? Yeah. For, um, how old is the baby? Man, the baby, I know she ain't older than 10. It's a child. That's, that's still a crazy, child. crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy when you think about it, bro, because it's like, damn, like, how, how ch this is called child yeah. support. Child support, bro. Not Baby mama support. And don't get me wrong, if you taking care of the child, of course you have to take care of that baby mama to an extent. Because you got to make sure your child is straight. No, you have to. You have to. But when to. you say take care, what do you mean? Cause I, I mean just making sure that the, when I ain't talking about pay or rent, I'm talking about to make sure your child has enough money to get food. You get clothes to go to school. Yeah, that's that's many that's, things that's, like that's, that. That's, that's, but eleven K is excessive. But like I, I, I agree with taking care of your child. 
I even agree with, man, like I said, if your, if your baby mother's car went down or something like that and she needed help, you know, assistance with that, or, you know, she couldn't make her rent that month or something like that. Yeah, you can help her out, you know, a few times or something like that. That's come, you know, if you if it comes to that. Well, and you don't want your baby in the street. So, you of course, you got to make sure she, she got a roof over her head. Exactly, bro. But after I help you out one or two times or whatever, three, whatever, three times, whatever it may be, your limit is. I feel like, hey, man, we can have that discussion. Like, okay, if you if your shit is not in order for you to have a crib, I might need to have the baby in my custody. And yeah. people get offended with that shit. They'd be like, oh, he want to take the bait. Well, if you can't have the crib and you can't, you know what I'm saying? If you can't put food on the table and put a roof over your child's head, then you don't need to be raising a child. I ain't saying you can't be raising a child. I'm no, just that's saying, true, because like, I, like, I don't like the stigma of like when chicks have all these babies and they be staying with their mama. No, you can't yeah. even take care. You just making your mother become a mother again. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Now she got to cook for four or five kids. Take uh, that's why I like independent women. These days they're more independent, but we still got them out there that's doing that and they getting this bag off child support. And that's just not cool, bro. Like the father is there, he's active, and it's like indeed nowadays. And I shout out to all my niggas out there because I see a lot of fathers out here stepping it up, have their kids every day, taking their kids to school, feed, doing the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? But I always thought that you know, and of course they gonna look at it like this, but I always look at who is the best suited to take care of the child. Yeah. It ain't about the mother or this it or about, that. It's about who it's, can provide the best future for that child. That's what it should be, bro. Like it's always like I understand that she birthed the child, like she find, like she's actually physically birthed the child and all that, bro. But it takes two people to make the child. It's, it, got, it takes the man's seed to even get the child. You know what I'm saying? And then when the child get here, he posted just all right, man. My job is done. My job is done. And he supposed to just basically just fund it. Like, you got, because you got people out here, I man, you got girls out here, man, that just literally, man, have babies, man, to to, to the fund their lifestyle. Like, I mean, that's like the norm, like, to have a baby by an NBA player, a ball player, a, you know, popping nigga, yep. and just get on child support. Yep, you set for life. Set for life. And that's like, and it's like the court system, man, they push that shit. Yeah. You know, they definitely push that. That, man, America is Man. It's messed up, bro. It's, it's up. a messed up world, bro. You know, like I say, that, that's that's one area that needs to definitely be improved in, in the world is just yeah, the child bro. support and the way they handle things. Cause some now don't get me wrong. Some of these dudes need to be on child support. They making babies out yeah. here. It's they jump into the next few. Some of them do need to, you know what I'm saying? You gonna make babies like yeah. that, have eight, nine kids, you better be able to support them. But when you fight, you 100 percent right about that, man. But I feel like, man. If you, like, you got people out here paying for child support, bro, and they can't even get, like, the half, they can't even get, you know, 50-50 on custody. They can't get their child half the time, but they paying money to the mother and doing this and doing that. Like, they, I can't get, we created this child together. I can't, I can understand if I'm not physically set up or I got some issues or something like that. That's different. But 99 or, I ain't going to say 99, but a lot of times out of, out of you know, this these situations, the mind can be fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Fucked up and still collecting the check and still holding on to that custody with her dear life. And it's just how it goes. Like, they feel like the better interest of the child is with the mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not to take all, you know, segue off of Tyrese that much, but I'm just saying, like, um, 11K, and you know what I'm saying, for one child, as well as, like, what he got to go through, bro, with the baby mother and stuff. And it's just like, you you going to lock, you locked them up. You know what I'm saying? It's like you lock somebody up for some some back child support or whatever. It's like, all right, how how you gonna get the funds in? <laughs> you, sub, you suspend a nigga license. This, I'm not talking about nothing ice cream. I'm good. But I'm saying you lock a nigga up for like just saying, man, uh, uh, or you or you suspend his license or something like that. Now he can't get a fucking job. Yeah, got to do everything under the table. Can't report this. Can't and it, and it's a messed up situation. Like I say, it's niggas out there that don't give no care, but it's some out there, like you say, that's paying child support and they can't even get a picture of the child. They can't even get an updated school picture. Can't get an updated school picture, bro. You know what I mean? And and, and that's crazy to me because it's kind of like it's like I would never, as a mother, you should never, unless you just got a fucked up baby daddy, you should never deprive your child of the father exactly, ever. Man. You know what I'm saying? Even if that father don't want to be in that child life, at least, at the at the least, never deprive. And I always say that, never deprive a child of knowing his father and never talk down on no nigga. Or man. mother, man. Or mother. The you same with saying? dudes that got custody, that, 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 that wife may be trying to get it together or the other person may be trying to get it together. Don't ever talk 
down on that other person because when them kids grow up, it mess up their minds, bro. It, uh, you already know this, man. My mom been working in the school district for all my life, you know what I'm saying? And I done seen kids that she had to deal with that, you know, had them type of situations and shit. Yeah. And with Tyree's situation, like, um, just to, you know, get off of that, but with Tyree's situation, man, it's like when you got somebody, man, that's, you know, paying that type of money out, man, and, you know, they, like, just with the whole situation with it alone, man, he's supposed to be paying her 11 k a month or whatever, right? Yeah. But in the same sense of that 11 k that he's putting out there, bro, it's like, what does he get? Like, where is that 11 k being accounted for at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, why, and then like, you got to look at this as well, bro. The women out here, bro, that is so pro-child support, and they they, they cool with this shit, because most of them are. Let's be keeping it real. They are cool. They be like, well, he need to get it. He should have never. He should have never got her lifestyle built up like this, nigga. She a grown she woman, grown, bro. Grown, bro. Yeah, that, you know what that'd I'm saying. Be the crazy thing, and then the funny thing is, I believe why they left each other. Well, he, well, she left him. Is Tyrese is frugal. He's not no frugal. He's, I thought frugal. it was frugal. Yeah, yeah he, he's not no big spender like that. Like he was in a breakfast club. You're like, this shit ain't real, dog. This shit yeah. off Amazon. Not a crib. Now, he going to have a nice crib and yeah. car, but he used to, like he used to tell her, like he said something about they used to, used to be spending this much money spending. You're like, yo, we, nigga, we got to say, we got a like kid. The, you know you're like one of them niggas that like to stack, bro. You I'm like a nigga that like this, bro. Man. And she was spending, so she was basically like, Fuck it, man. I get out this relationship because that's why he kept saying, like, you was just with me for the money. Man. And, and you know, just keep my way up, man. Tyrese is a sucker for love, bro. So, yeah, you know, he man. is, man. Ever since he's been singing on that bus with that, you no, know, that <laughs> tongue ring yeah, in the back. The Pepsi, man. It's been, a, it's been a rapture for him, bro, man. But, yeah, man. hey, shout out our black brothers, man. Um, I'm against, you know, child support. They put something like that on the damn uh, uh, bill out there, man. And one of these uh, legislations, man, is something we will sign that motherfucker. Yeah. But um, let's just go ahead and jump into this real quick, man. Uh, Shannon Sharp, man. Uh, he, he 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 the talk of the week right now, man. He wildin'. Yeah, man. Shay Shay don't win brazy. Freaky ass nigga, man. He's 69. <laughs> freaky ass nigga, man. He got real beerious out there in these streets, I see. <laughs> that boy, man. That boy freaky, bro, man. But Shannon Sharp, bro, man. Um, He had some, um, he had a video or had a live, man, of on social media, man, that basically went live his damn stuff. It went viral. And um, I guess he's saying that this live of him, man, with, you know, him having sex with a, uh, you know, young lady. It sounds like a Sally. Yeah, it sounds like a Sally. <laughs> you know what I'm um, He's saying basically, man, that was a mistake, man. At first he was saying that, you know, or he put out that it was hacked. Then he came back and said, nah, it wasn't hack, man. Like Unk was lying like a mother. Unk was lying. <laughs> he was like, yo, man. Got to doing some things, man, and you know, phone went live on mistake, man. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. Hey, man, that, that's crazy. Do you believe him though? Uh, I'm 50. 50. I don't know. He an old nigga, man. But to be, he was like, I've never went live before. But it, it just, it's just crazy because I'm, I try to play in my mind man, like, that hilarious, it, I try to play in my mind like, where was your phone at? When this happened, how did this occur to where... 99% first, of people first bro, have locks to, on their phone, bro. And first, you got to be an Instagram. So I'm picturing yeah. Instagram was up. But I'm like, how you just get popping? Like, there must have been a, you know, a popping situation for you to get popping and you was getting ready to go live and you just sat the phone down. And you know what I'm saying? But like, what made me think he purposely did it because the phone was facing to, to the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that told me that your phone... And the way it was, I was thinking, you, you hitting the chick... You, I'm... Taking it, you was in the bed, probably. You know what I'm saying? Where was your phone getting the vision of the floor so your phone had to be propped? Bro, it just looked real, real. I, I promise you, like, if he was having sex, man, or really having sex, it, it looked like he was face-to-face. -face. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. That nigga was uh, heavy he was, breathing. Heavy, it, it, look, it reminded me of me, uh, it reminded me of uh, Mr. Wasili. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, this nigga got to be face-to-face, -face, bro. I was like, bro, he Bad breath. lip on ear. I was like, yo, bro. He old school, uh, 1989 humping her. You know what oh, I'm saying? Bro. I'm like, and I never got that from Shannon, but I was like, man, this is a wild one, bro. It's a wobbler, bro. Well, he been getting all them allegations, man. You know what I'm saying? He been getting all them broke wrist allegations, man, allegations, from the time he jumped man. out the car looking like he was ready to go uh, get his toes done. <laughs> and then 
You know, the assistant, you know, every game he pop up, he got his assistant, Saucy Santana. Oh, that ain't Saucy Santana. Yeah, but, you know, he got the assistant out there. Then he always got the man bag. So, you know, niggas was like, yo, man, I'll be honest Shay, with you, Shay a little. I'm a 98% towards that. Yeah. I'm 98% to think this was set up here, bro, man. To but it was other ways he could have did that, cuz. He, ain't, he, ain't he shouldn't have did nothing, bro. Like, you know, if you got the allegations on you, bro, and, you know, it's not true, you let that shit, you know, go by the wayside. But if it's true, though, you know what I'm saying? Live your truth, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Live your truth is much easier. But, what? hey, Unk should have took it up 10, though. Me, I'm a different type of nigga, man. <laughs> if I'm going to risk it all, I ain't going to just be moaning the phone. I'm just going to pan that mud to me. I'm grabbing the whole ponytail. <laughs> huh, huh. I'm, I'm in there slaughtering bro, things. But. I'm, hey, man, Unk was in there getting it in, bro, man. But it just looked like, damn, bro, man. Like, first of all... He definitely had a he had, he had a uh, Allison in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Becky was in the building. Becky was in the building, she bro. Was in the building. And two, bro, I was like, yo, this nigga moves to be this athletic, bro, and I can't see it, but I can hear it. <laughs> so you so you associate the sound with what he doing? What he doing? I'm like, he ain't dropping he ain't dropping D off like he supposed to, bro. Yeah, that was straight uh, missionary, man. man bro. Straight up ahead. Hard patting, bro. <laughs> like, that's a wild one. Bro, hey, he, he was hitting it like a Denver Bronco, man. Man, bro. That's all. That wasn't none of them Ravens, but that was Denver yeah. Broncos, man. Shout out Shay Shay. Shout out to Shay Shay. He ain't man. lost his job. Yeah, bro, I don't, don't want to lose his job, though, man. But speaking on Shay Shay, man, this is a segue a little bit, bro, man. Shout out to Shay, man. But, uh, <laughs> oh, this nigga Shay. And, and Nikki, a uh, little rant, bro, when she was going at Jay, remember we was talking about it earlier, bro? Yeah, when she was talking about uh, Stephen A. Smith. Bro, going off. It's Nikki, bro, man. Nikki got to come to the stage, bro, man. What she do? Man, Nikki, bro, man. She goes on her little rant about Jay, bro, and then starts going on a rant when this whole Shannon Sharp stuff drop. You know what I'm saying? This girl, bro, man. She think that Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith the same damn people, bro. <laughs> oh, she never said. <laughs> man, hold on, hold on, hold on. So she thought that Stephen A. Smith. Was the nigga moaning like that on yes, the tape? Yes, nigga. She oh started taking God. the she started taking the damn uh, the the audio from that and throwing that at Shannon. I mean, throwing that at Stephen A. Smith like that was him on the tape. She all out of touch, bro. Out of touch like a mug, Ain't bro. Ain't no like, Barb whisper to her sitting there in my hey fool. Nigga gotta that. chill, bro. She got to chill, chill, man. Her, I didn't even understand. Her and where Chester the... Molester, man, they got to chill, bro. Because he probably told her that was that. Oh, that's Stephen A. Yeah, no, hey. I mean, like she, you know. I, I, I've seen the little Stephen A. Smith thing where he spoke on it and all that. You know, Stephen A. Smith, I do say this, man. He do go a little extra, you know what I'm saying, on black people. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely go extra on women. I'm going to just stand by that, bro. Yeah, he, he, he have his times where he go hard. He, he put himself, be. I don't get on that whole sassy and all that type stuff, bro, man, but he do involve himself in stuff. I ain't going to say involve, but he do, like, if it's Beyonce and just Rihanna like it was then. I, I mean, we know that Beyonce is, you know, obviously a better, uh, you know, artist than, you know what I'm saying, Rihanna, better for entertainer, sure. all that. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, sure. But we're not going to sit there and, like, try to, like, put them against each other and, like, that. Like, you know, that's, that's sassy right there. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, nobody got time. Sometimes we do dabble in female business a little too much for me, but, you know what I mean? But yeah, how, he came at, how he came at Nikki about the shit was, and then, like I said, she did respond, like, Ignorant. Hey, ignorant bro, she, up. hey, I can't be mad because we talked about it. Yeah, she had you know an ignorant. And he is a sports person, but he's also has it on pockets when he talk about worldly issues. And that, she did pop out all, kind of, she popped out it, all It was wrong. ignorant. She had an ignorant response. Yeah, it was bro. all wrong for somebody you know of her stature. Yeah, she had an ignorant you know response, but I just feel like with him, though, it's just like, damn, bro, man, you don't even, you don't have to direct it, you know, even to a Nikki, bro. That's not even like, you know what I'm saying? First of all, bro, like, Everything, like this right here, I ain't got no problem with you speaking like that, man, because it is the Super Bowl and you cover sports. But, nigga, the last stuff that you was talking about, bro, man, that shit, I think he was on, like, fucking, like, uh, Wendy Williams or showing stuff or something like that, bro, and brought up the whole Beyonce and uh, Rihanna, uh, Rihanna stuff. He always doing, like, stuff against, you know, yeah, especially yeah, black yeah, ba yeah, ball players. Yeah, he just got into it lately with, uh, uh, what's old girl, uh, that played WNBA legend. I don't want to say a Cheryl Swoops or one of them of that nature, oh, man. God. She's a, a WNBA analyst, and she just lost her job speaking on Caitlyn, the girl Caitlyn Clark. Oh, and Stephen yeah, A. Smith was yeah. speaking on it because she, she had words shit. for Stephen A. Smith, too. Like, nigga, yeah. get out of, nigga, this ain't your business, nigga. That's a wild one, bro. People Crazy, lose their jobs bro. for speaking on Caitlyn, bro. But they did, they <laughs> did hate her for a while, though, man. But I, I know what you're talking about, yeah, so she definitely yeah, didn't deserve to lose her gig, though. 
But yeah, man, uh, we will revisit this, Nikki. Uh, learn the people, man. All black people don't look. What well, we like. say all the time, man. Read the room, man. Before you start talking. Read the room. Too bro, smart man. not to read the room. Man. Read the room, man. But uh, just to jump into something else real quick, man. Just to see the topic, man, that I had kind of like put out there, man. Um, we was just uh, talking the other day in the group chat, man, and Gorilla Zoe, man. I think that need to be like a. A movie, uh, uh, the science of what happened to Gorilla Zoe's career, bro. I feel, bro, dude was like scorching, bro. And this is me, bro. I'm just keeping honest with you, honest with you bro. I feel that Gorilla Zoe was a better, I think he was a better, you know, member of Boys in the Hood than Jeezy was, bro. Just keep on it, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, he just fit better with him. He fit better because Jeezy, at that time period, we wanted him to be more of a, a solo artist. Yeah. And Gorilla Zoe, you know, he kind of grew into a solo artist. So he was more. Humble. Jeezy came into that group like, I'm already that nigga, so I'm doing this for y'all. This making y'all heat up. He did come in a little But cocky, Zoe man. came in there more or less, you know what I'm saying, wasn't a list and fit in. And he just, and he's a worker, bro. Like, yeah. Zoe's a worker, bro. But, I mean, he's a worker, but I'm just I'm just talking about off just pure pure music. Like, come on now, bro. You know, bro, that Zoe was going up. Jeezy do Jeezy as well. But as far as in that group, I was playing Bite Down the other day, man. Uh, I down. Yeah, bro. I was like, Jesus. damn. He was a dog. Gorilla Zoe had an error, bro. Yeah, man. Let's not forget about his biggest song, man. The Um Blue. Lost. Whoa, yeah. whoa, with Lil Wayne. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, people just don't understand how big Gorilla could have been. He was big, bro. You know I mean? He had thought, man. He did the uh the whole month of February, every day he dropped yeah. the mixtape, the whole month of February. Forget had, that Hood Nigga was his first one that he popped off. I forgot all about Hood that. Hood Nigga, he had Trying to Make a Jug, uh, Juice Box. I was just you about to say saying? Juice Box, yeah. Like, Zoe got joint money, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zoe had an air, and it's like, dog, he'd be like, why? It's like the same thing with, like, Jewels and shit, them type of niggas. He'd be like, why you stop I think for Zoe, you know it's just, I think it was the industry for Zoe, man, because he was going back kind of doing like almost house music when he came back. He was doing like something totally different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But he still was rapping even now, off and on. But, you know, what I think it is also is that niggas, you lose the passion for it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you do so much, cause think about how much music he did, dog. Oversaturate sometimes. Oversaturated, yeah. nigga. That's what that's what killed Gucci man. I think yeah. I think that's <laughs> like, what killed Gucci man. I think shit. that's what killed Wayne too. Cause Wayne, I think like Wayne making great music right now. Too. He's still rapping his ass off. And but Wayne I don't think has he more of a chance to still do music than they the others because no, yeah, he hell. just got a talent. But the other one, sometimes when you put out that much music and then people start, especially when you're not the most lyrical motherfucker. Yeah. And they start to get tired of you. Because you don't yeah. get to, like, evolve into something yeah. different. Now, Zoe, I think, though, was evolving into something different, though. Which he did uh, evolve. He started doing, like, more of, like, techno. Not, what's it called? EDM yeah, music and EDM stuff music, like that. Yeah. And that's kind of when I fell off him, too, man. Because I had seen... This is World Star era day. So I had seen a World Star clip come up one day, man. And uh, he was on tour with, like, Flo Rider, man. And bought, all them niggas had on drawers in the house. I said, oh, oh no. Whoa. Last, whoa. No diddy, man. No diddy, bro. What I was like, no, they was like in a, like a crib or something. You know, they was, you know, like a vacation house or something like that. But I was like, hey, yo, why niggas walking around in their drawers, bro? Definitely not going to Cabo to walk in no drawers around a nigga. But then I thought about it, bro. Who was uh, Zoe signed to? Oh, uh, yeah, your boy Ja. Nah. He signed a Ja? No. What was his answer? Uh, bad boy. Did he? <laughs> oh, bad boy nah. South, man. So you say he was comfortable in the party parties. Bruh. Like, I'm just I'm just putting that out there. Hey, now. They say it's the same out there, man. It ain't a party till you in your drawers, man. Pause. <laughs> this said Diddy it's party. It's gonna be though. the pause episode. This is a Diddy party though. I'm yeah, talking about Diddy man. party. Them Diddy parties we leaving those in 2018. Nigga, man. like yo, nigga, you gotta party your way down to just your drawers on. I don't oh, wanna hell be there because. No, we got to move on from that, man. <laughs> oh, we gotta my move on, God. Man. Shout out to Zoe, man. I was pause, trying to give niggas man. flowers, bro, man. Yeah, man. But, uh, man, my woe, man. My woe, man. My little woe, man. Young boy. NBA young boy, man. He got sentenced to 27 months. Or from what I'm hearing right now, I don't even know if it's official yet, but from what I'm hearing, it's 27 months, man. He's going to be uh, sentenced to and five years probation. That's a hell of a deal for a nigga that, <laughs> yeah. that want to go to jail. That nigga like, I want this time to go. Yeah. I think he might have been shy of what he wanted. That nigga was like, she was like, I'm going to send this to 27. He's like, damn, I thought you was going to give me 80 months. God, <laughs> damn, nigga. Bro. What's wrong with you? I don't but know. no, he, he, they say he been in there for a little minute. So they, 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 his, I think his, his manager said he probably do about 12. 
So he ain't even gonna do the twenty seven. So, but, but you gotta understand, you still got the uh, prescription oh. case. That ain't got nothing to do with that shit. That's just for the, that's just for the, that that new order with the gun stuff. Now we got to go to this nigga running his drug pharmacy yeah, and they shit. They trying to say it was Pablo out there. They say he was trying to be uh, what's my man name on the show, man? Uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, uh, he thought he was Walter White. I thought he tried to be Walter White out there, man. Cutting glass in his mouth. But no, nah, that's crazy. But that's a that's a definitely a win for him because he he been in a lot. He got a lot of shit going legally and 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 as far as cases going on, yeah. he got so much stuff going. That's definitely a win. If he do those twelve months and get out, you know what I'm saying. I just I don't know what I don't know what to say at this point. I mean, we. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm lost hey. for words because you. I can always say therapy. I can always say he need this, but it's that like person that. has the want to do that. Yeah, bro. You I mean? I be. It's like, bro. I'm out of words right now, bro. I don't know what to do, bro. I always. I'm I'm a nigga that I always think that I can. Uh, especially, bro. Just like I ain't hyping it up like that, but I'm just saying from the things that I've done in my life previously, I feel like that I can actually like a young dude like that. I feel like I can, you know. Be a helping hand to be like, hey yo, bro, do this. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie with young boy. I'm like, I don't know what I can tell you, that nigga. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, don't try. He seems like he likes the what he. You know what I'm saying? Master P even tried it. Master yeah. P tried to reach out. He like, yo, let me fool your shoes ugly. I was like, damn, yeah. like, this nigga ain't. He demon time. With him, with him being the way he is, and then with him having money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, man, the the clout that they you know that he has, and then the love that he gets for that shit. It's like. What can you tell that nigga? That's what I'm saying. That's why, and just to be honest with you, and I don't want it to sound bad, but I mean, I, I think they may need to hold him in there a little more, bro. Nah, you can't never I mean, say that. I mean, the reason I say this, because one, he's sober. Yeah, sober is good. Though. And that's, that's I think when you're in there, if he if they can get him some kind of counseling to clear his mind, because sometimes you, you need to sit down for maybe two, three years, bro. 12 months might not be enough. But that you gotta you know remember though, man. You can't, you know, can't make that man go to counseling classes in that mug. Like, unless you, it's court. yeah, you can. If, if, if this, if this court sad, order, in your court order, you need to go. Yeah, they can't take you there. Before they do that, they just give you another, you know, more twelve more months. Well, he may need <laughs> that, bro. Cause I'm just, I'm just, I'm just seeing that pattern. Twelve months here, year and a half here, get out, cool for three months, don't do nothing, yeah. start making music, pass out on the floor with pills in your hand. I'm like, no, nah, that's. that's he need a bro, man. He, got a, he need an old Joe Jackson ass whooping, bro. That That's nigga need, need bro, a man. good old Joe Jackson <laughs> <laughs> uh, bar chains on the door. Yeah, you know what I'm he saying? He need an old black Southern football coach. You know what I'm saying? That you know, you know, cursing his face like that. He don't need no drill sergeant. He don't nah, need no. Man. He don't need no OG from the hood, bro. He need that. Nah, he old, need an Uncle Phil type motherfucker. Yeah, you know, something, bro. Some, I don't man. Know, like, bro. That's the opposite. But yeah, he can. That can work too, bro. He need love, bro. That nigga need some. I'm like, hey, yo, bro, me, bro, this size gonna be, bro. I'm sick of your shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he's 25. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah, the same but I'm just saying, you like... need that OG in your family, bro. They be like, you know, hey, yo, man, your mama been keeping me off your ass, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and really, he definitely bro. don't got Melvin. that type of OG. Melvin. Yeah, he need that nigga to stick up with him by the couch. <laughs> uh, your mama told me you All been over doing here, bro, man. Taking him everywhere he want to go with it, anyway. Man. But shout out to our woe, man, little young boy, man, NBA young boy, man. Shout out to him, man. But um, jumping into something up, just we gonna stay right in, uh, you know, Louisiana. We gonna stay in Louisiana, man. Uh, Hurricane Chris, bro, man, he is on Vlad right now, and he actually got a good interview. He got a real good one, bro. I gotta watch it. I seen clips. Though. It's real good, bro, man. Um, he understands some, uh, you know, some crazy things though. He said that, bro. He make better music than Fifty, bro. Cap. Yeah, he's I seen that clip. I was like, Cap, man, you can't say that shit looking as dry as he was up there. I don't know if Vlad get them niggas like Cocoa Butter before they go in there. That nigga look like he's dry. I'm like, yeah, what's the most through your face, nigga? Well, I mean, he's saying, <laughs> like, he's saying today, though. He's saying today. No, though. Cap. I mean, I mean, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no cap, bro. And the funny thing is, I heard him mention. He said he got a song with Murder, and shout out Lil Boosie. He had with Lil Boosie. It was kind of, it was hard. It's kind of hard. It was hard. I'm not gonna, I'm not a hater. But you're going to need more than that if you're talking about 50 Cent. If 50 Cent get in the studio with Dre, no, nigga, he will definitely make a better song than you. No question about it. I mean, bro, come on. We're talking about Hurricane Chris. And that's, and that's the thing that I think that people be like, kind of like, uh, 
uh, like just shoo, you know shooing him away like that. And that ain't cool either, bro. Niggas be like, man, that's Hurricane Chris. But you, know you can't, you can't. But put he can yourself, rap. But you can't put yourself way up there though, because with him, I respect Hurricane Chris. He got some bops, like you say. He got that. He got bops. He can rap though. I'm, he, forget the bops. No, he no, can he can rap. rap. You know but my thing is, when you you put yourself, bro, you can't say that about no legends, bro. And you know you ain't at that level, bro. You know you're not at that level. But I have you're to think sometimes, though, bro. not even a top 50 bro. rapper. Yeah, man. Come on now. You know that, man. Like, he's not even in the top probably 30 100. rappers. He not, I'm talking about in the South. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But I got to think like this sometimes where I have to step myself outside the box or just step outside of it, man. Because, like, we, it's hard for some people like us. Some, If you come from the Midwest, maybe. Maybe if you come from the East Coast, maybe. Whatever. It's hard for us sometimes to accept that, you know, everybody wasn't on the, you got to, every, you know what I'm saying? Everything got to be like, I guess, have like a lyrical or a substance to it. Because some niggas, man, they don't listen to nothing with substance. Oh, no, nah, I know that. Especially this new era nigga, they don't give a fuck. Them niggas can't even understand them. You know what I'm saying? Some people, to most people, bro, Drake is is like the most lyrical person they ever listened to, bro. And, 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 and to, in their eyes, Kendrick Lamar is like most deaf. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they eyes, they like, yo, Kendrick Lamar is like, damn, they're like a most deaf or Talib Kweli to them. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not that, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick ain't nowhere near that. Like, he's not that type of, you know, artist. He make nah. ratchet, whatever. Nah. But you, we just sometimes out there have to step back and be like, okay, man, maybe some people can, you know, appreciate a Hurricane Chris more than the 50 records. Because even when we have these mixtape debates and stuff about who was the greatest, niggas be like, yo... I mean, we know what 50 did mixtape-wise and numbers-wise with mixtapes and all that. But they be like, nigga, like what? Look, man. I can see some people down there in, in, in Louisiana that, that can make art. Man, no, I can't, man. I can't <laughs> even cap like this. 50 can fart in a paper bag <laughs> and put a beat on it and release the bag. And that shit going to be better than anything pause. that they can do. Pause, man. <laughs> and I'm, again, I'm not trying to hate on Hurricane Chris. I'm just saying it's crazy for you. No, uh, Look, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to talk your way out of future films. Yeah. And you're going to go on Vlad and you're going to talk your way out of an even further career. Because the only reason Vlad came and got you because you said something about 50. Vlad yeah. don't do it, bro. <laughs> real talk. Because yeah. you know you had a lot to get off your chest. If somebody throws a, throw a shot at you right now, if it's, uh, if it's any of, anybody up there. Anybody 50, of stature. Yeah, if 50 throw a shot at you Vlad right now, you. man, Vlad going to have his secretary hit you up tomorrow. Tomorrow. You know you're going to you get that little hour interview. That's a wild one, bro, man. That's definitely a wild and, and one. And it's sad because, and that's and, and shout out Vlad, but that's also why they called him a culture vulture because as soon as 50 spoke on it, shit. He been interviewing it, everybody. He went guy, and got man. that nigga so quick, nigga. He started part one like a week later. Yeah, he going to get everybody, man. Like, and then also on Hurricane Chris, you know, it's a good move, but it's also clout chasing because you ran your ass right up there to talk about that shit. And then the thing about it is that's probably why he said that shit. I'm a better Rapper than him now because he had to say something to, to 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 make to make niggas talk. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I don't you're believe to have he, that confidence. I, I don't though. believe he. Come on, bro. You're supposed to have that confidence though. No, bro, so definitely. Say I'll say I'll go in there and eat fifty. But see, I'm not the thing about pause. me is I'm not <laughs> pause. Oh damn! But the thing about me is I'm not gonna go on Vlad and say it though. You yeah, you probably you supposed to have that mindset, man. but you ain't going on Vlad and but say it's it. Because now you between, know you also burning that bridge again. So yeah, you definitely not. Fuck. It's a difference between saying it, bro. But I think, man, Hurricane Chris can't rap. I keep standing on that, bro. So in his mind, he may feel that he raps better than Fifty, bro. I'm just gonna be real with you on that. If it was Soldier Boy saying that or something like that, and they actually was on the same label, I think he was on Collie Park Music. Both of them was. Damn. But if Soldier Boy was to say that, though, you know, we just be like, yo, bro, you know, you can't even rap like that. You, it's take you. It, it's hard for you to rap. Your your head hurt when you try to write certain rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> you know they could be scratching his head, bro. Like, damn, that was a bar. That made you know my head hurt. But hey, man, shout out to Chris, man. Hey, man, just read that room. Hey, hey slur cane. Hey, read that room, bro. Read hey, that bro. room, man. Leave um, fifty alone, man. I know we over an hour about now, man. Probably are approaching it, man. But uh, let's jump into this real quick, man. Uh, Chris Sean Rock. That's your girl. Let's get into that, man. Chris Sean Rock, man. Yeah, man. She um, she in these streets. She free. She free. We spoke on it like last week, but we didn't know all the we way. We didn't even know. I think it happened like later that that day or something, or the next day. I'm like, she's damn free, it, girl. Man. Back Why you couldn't stay scene. locked up for another week? Yeah, man, she's back, bro. <laughs> and think about her, man. Like, you know, don't want to see nobody behind no jail walls or nothing like that, obviously, bro. Um, it's just like, damn, bro, man. She gets out, man. And it's like it feel, it feel like the same energy 
Uh, you know what I'm it's saying? It's still the same energy. She cause. got out through the watch on this and that, man. You know, came home, you know. Like, I feel she should have took that moment with her baby and kept that shit private. Bro, man, dog, if, if I was if I was in as much shit as she was in, bro, all I would have did is lay low, spend time with my child, go pick my checks up from Zeus, and take my black ass back home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at least, I would at least, I wouldn't have hit online at least like a month. Let me get my shit. Let me get 30 days to get my shit together. Let me get my bags I pick up and all this. And let me just lay low with my child, bro. Just let me I've been locked up for two months. Let me just lay low with my child. She came in. The first thing she did was go live. She went live, bro. That's the first thing, bro. <laughs> um, went live, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, man, uh, you know, hit the Hennessy probably or something, man. She <laughs> definitely hit the yak in the week. Yeah, you know that. I just wanted to see, you know, a change, you know, come out of this, man. And then I seen as well, which I'm a, I'm for it, but I just think that it's toxic, a toxic as hell, man. And she went and changed, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, Krishan Jr.'s name to, you know, Blueface's last name. So it's now. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Well, so I respect that, you know what I'm saying, because he is Well, the she father. looked crazy as hell. She was calling a nigga Jr. and it was named after her. I'm like, yeah. yo, what, what are you doing? Like, that's not even. It's, it's kind of crazy, bro, man. But Boy. she's home, though, man. Um. We, see, we will see how this shakes out. I really don't have a lot with, you know, Krishan right now. I just hope that she's on, the, you know what I'm saying, a better path, you know what I'm saying, for this child right there. Yeah. You know, I can care less about where her and Blueface going, but the baby didn't, you know, don't just, you know, didn't, you know, ask to be here, so. Yeah, he didn't ask to be here, man. He throwing them parties he ain't even attending. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> baby got parties. He like, look, I got something else on my plans today, nigga. I don't That's a wild one, bro, man. Nigga threw him a party, bro, with no child. No child at all. But... Yeah, man. Um, Krishan, man. Um, hey, I don't know. stay, stay, baby. Put your phone up, man. Put your phone on. Do not disturb. Only contact your closest family members and just, just get it together and raise your child, baby. Girl. Get it together, man. I mean, that child ain't asked to be here. Yeah, definitely did, man. And again, man. Hey, free. You know, Blueface too, man. I think he got yeah, like four man. years. Yeah, he but got sentenced to four, but he probably not gonna do that, man. But free Harry Monster, man. Um, what's the Eddie Monster, man? Yeah, uh, nigga boy. Yeah, well, I don't know who the barber is up north, man. But who doing the lineups, man? But they gotta cut the the Patrick Ewan patch off the front, and the middle, bro. That's not cool, right. bro. But let's jump into something else real quick, man. Uh, this one right here, we gonna keep it, man. NFL, man. Uh, two crazy ones right now. First one, man. Deshaun Watson, bro, man. Was I? Hey, man. <laughs> For real, bro. That boy that, freaky. Yeah, freaky. that nigga freaky, bro. He's a what? habitual, bro, offender, He's bro. A f habitual freak offender. Hey, I believe that now, bro. I believe that, bro. I know you probably was like, yo, man, he been, you know, I been believed it, but no, you, I ain't believe it then, though. No, nah, I believe it, nigga. I was the yeah. first one to be like, hey, bro, it cannot be 30 cases about the same shit. Bro, it's hard to believe a lot of times with these, you know, you know, NFL players and celebrities, bro, because it's like, bro... You got cake, bro. Like, what you doing, bro? Like, why is you sitting here? That's the, he's sick. Bro, yeah, he's sick, bro. It's kind of yeah. like, bro, I understand you you an athlete. Most athletes have personal masseuses or they go to the masseuse. But damn, why you got to try to touch a ball? Why you got to try to yeah, grab like, all of them, bro? He thought he has a, you know, I think he has, like, you know, a fetish that he, obviously, you know what I'm saying, is into that. He's going to these, you know, uh, therapist, massage, whatever it is, man. But he always getting like, bro, first of all, bro, you make too much money to not have a girl that can give you the, I, I go get the chick that can, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't even massage. about that. It's it's just about that you keep doing them with massage therapists. Nigga, like, you're going to get your body rubbed down. And I mean, man, I mean, I don't have a massage before, but at no point to where you, you're a professional athlete, my guy. You can't, you cannot. <laughs> I can just picture that nigga on the table just, Pause. Just, just doing the reach around. Doing the reach around. She grabbed that nigga. He reaching up here and shit. Like, what are you doing, my nigga? Like, you... And then you got 30 cases. Why you still got cases, cases popping up, my G? He's a... I mean, like I said, I don't want to put that, you know, label on him, bro, but I think he's he's earned that mug. Nah, bro. Look, man, I knew it when I... Look, man, it's something about them damn Deshaun's, man. I, I don't know, man. But this case, man, you know, because when he went to the NFL the first time... When he settled out all them cases and all that, he had to tell everything to the NFL. Yeah. So what they saying is, if this is completely new and you ain't told us about this, dog, your ass is grass, bro. You about you think to he gonna lose his job? I mean, not possibly. He bet he about to get. Some, if he don't lose his job, 
And this this has been plaguing his last two, three years of his career. Yeah. Bro, he on the force of getting probably banned, That's bro. what I'm thinking, banned, bro. I'm and like, this uh, is the case where the woman said that the nigga, she met up with him. He tried to come through the spot. No, no, no. He was trying to. He was trying to have her come to his spot. She like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Get me to my spot. So she said she goes and shit. She getting ready, getting the food prepared. She was like, this nigga was. Um, oh, he said she come back. The nigga is laying in the bed naked, on his on with his back up, talking about he want a massage. That's a wild. Man. This was supposed to be a dinner date, nigga. This ain't even <laughs> have nothing to do with a massage. Like picture you go, nigga. Think about this. Let's think, say, it's supposed to be a Let's date. Let's paint a picture. Let's paint a picture. Damn. You go over a chick house, you're on a little date night and shit. You know, she like, all right, I got to go slip my put a little perfume on, get the food, make sure check it, oven on 350, get the bread, chicken out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You take your big 6'4 ass <laughs> and you lay in her bed and get naked on your stomach and say, come in here and massage. And then he said after that, she actually tried to do it, and he, I guess he forced himself on her. I'm like, oh, yo. I was like, yo, bro. He you, said, yo, bro, man. Hey, we be on this dude all day. Deshaun Watson, bro. Uh, to us, man, like I said, I can't you know, say for sure, but to us, I'm three of them on with you, man. You did that shit. You know what and I'm you playing terrible right now. Terrible, so you don't even bro. get the benefit of the fact that that nigga killing it, though. Yeah. I'm going to keep him on fantasy. No, nah, like you ain't Kobe. doing nothing. Yeah, it ain't like when Kobe had that situation pop out when you like, yeah, man, it's Kobe, bro. Bro, man, Kobe gonna... was going to court and yeah. coming back and giving niggas 40. <laughs> that nigga going to, he doing this, and he coming back and throwing 450 yards. Like, yeah, if that, man, what are you doing? Shit, man. He, throwing, he, he, he turning this a really like a system quarterback for real, bro. Nah, that ain't even system quarterback shit, bro. That's third string quarterback yeah, third shit, string bro. Quarterback, you play for the man. Cleveland Browns. He a wild boy. And you got a fully guaranteed. If I had a fully guaranteed NFL contract, I wouldn't say shit. Yeah. This is wild, man. This is a wild story right here. Just the whole thing when bro just spoke, and spoke on that. Um, we will be keeping y'all updated, man. He got my, you know, ear right now of what the hell going on. Because I, I never looked into Deshaun cases like that too much, bro, because I'm like, damn. You know, it's. I believe I'm thinking at the time like these might be lies, bro, man. Cause he he got too much money and too much of a big. He he was in Houston, bro. You know how many beautiful women stay in Houston, bro? Like Houston might have the most beautiful women in the world. I mean, in the United States at least. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 everything. So for him to be down there taking stuff, it's it's wow. If he wanted to pay it. You know what I'm saying? This niggas I heard is paying chicks rents and all but, that. But what make it like you say He's so? He's taking it. But what make it so weird about it is they're all massage sessions. Yeah, like they all have to do something with a therapist or massage. I'm like, dog, you telling me your joints is aching? You you six foot four bad booty and looking nigga. <laughs> you getting your bro? Yeah, bro. Man, man. I'm leave it alone, bro. Leave I'm the shine man. alone for right now, I'm man. Alone, I'm sure man. we'll be visiting this again very soon, man. Um, if y'all ain't did it already, man, again, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on this video right now. Hit that notifica notification button, man. Um, we got to get ready to get out of here, man, because I know we've been here a little bit over time. But uh, Tyreek Hill, bro. Um, man, that's twin, man. What's up with twin, man? We got to keep it on football, bro, man. Um, Tyreek Hill, man, you know, as y'all know, man, was on the way to the, you know, the opener, man, at the Miami Dolphins uh you know what I'm saying? Stadium, whatever, man. Yeah, down the Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe, man. And um, I guess, man, he was um, you know, gained a little speed, man, doing like 55 in the 40 or something. That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not like, 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 in Miami, nigga. Yeah. And he was in, you know, souped up, you know what I'm saying? What, man? Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> he, um, you know, gets pulled over, man, by, you know what I'm saying, Miami Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, they, they went a little extra on it, man. Um, it's, it's making headlines right now because you know definitely I think these cops was you know gonna be or gonna be losing their jobs, but Man. how you feel about it? how you feel like he conducted this stuff and you know the whole you know roll out of that? I mean I don't feel he did nothing wrong, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I seen the body footage as well as you. I mean dude pulled up on him for speed and whatever he had the case to pull him up for. Um, they came in the fours. It's like yeah. three three bison three. Um, Cops on motorcycles. Coming that deep. Coming. Kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he gave him a license, like he said, but you know, I guess he didn't like he rolled that window up with that with that presidential tent on that nigga. He rolled that 5%. window up. That nigga hit that window so hard, you know, the the, the Florida came right. He like, hey boy, what you hit my window for like that, boy? <laughs> Come on, twin, what you hit my window like that, boy? I was like, man, next thing you know, that nigga was just like, 
Hey, hey, bro, the one he was, he, that's what he called Drew, the agent. Yeah. He was like, I already see what's gonna go on. As soon as he said that, that nigga was like, get out the car, get out the car. But the thing I was tripping it on is like, like for a traffic stop, bro. For a traffic stop. You bro. pull a nigga out the car like that, dog. Like, and the thing picture about, you ain't did shit, that nigga yank you out your car, dog. Well, I think if I got it right, you know what I'm saying, just to go back a little bit, I think the cop came up and knocked on the window he first did. He, hard. That's what started it. He knocked on that window hard. And like if he, if he, a nigga knock on your Lambo window. Nigga, you knock on my Corsica window. <laughs> like, come on, bro. But if you knock, like you say, he knocked on the window. From my understanding that when he did that, he opened the door. Was like, why are you knocking on my shit that hard like that? But he passes him the license. The license. The license. And then he rolled that motherfucker back up, which and is And a lot of normal. people do roll their window. After they get a ticket, you to take your license, go yeah. back to their car and run you. You roll your shit back up. Or, but that's your right, keep, though. That's, that's your, your right. right. You don't have to keep that window down. You don't have to keep yeah. it down. Once you know I didn't man? get you my identification, man. Check it. That's, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I think the problem came, man. Obviously, when that happened there, man, and he felt like, you know, that, you know, Tyreek was big boy. But he was already trying to boy him. You know yeah, he was trying to boy him. And, and then the funny thing, I don't think he knew he had an athlete. He knew he had somebody, but when all the people started showing up, he knew he had fucked up. He fucked up. He fucked up. He seen the other player. They they put cuffs on the other defensive player. They tried to get the other nigga. Right. But then that's when Tyreek knew. He was just like, that's when he started, you know, he you, dog, you he was like, child. come on, he like twin. twin. Then, right. And then another cop came up on him while he was sitting on the ground and just just pushed him in his yeah, back. Like, I'm like, like, what the fuck is going? They I'm losing like, their jobs, bro. They losing their jobs for that, bro. Well, the sure. one is on administrative leave, the one that put him, pulled him out the car. Yeah. And Tyreek don't say he want him fired. He right? won't be returning, bro. But I guess they said that he called Tyreek to try to apologize, but they say Tyreek didn't nah, accept that, that shit. I want your job, bro. He's like, I want you, I want fuck you fired, that, bro. Nigga. Cause you know why, bro, man. And then and like it's just real talk, bro. They ain't gonna do that to no white player like that. Or Hell, you know what I'm saying? They not gonna do that. But just taking race away from her, dog. Like, Should we put a nobody out of car like that? That's Tyreek Hill, bro. He played for the. That's the. That's the face of the Miami Dolphins, bro. Like, think about if you was on the way. I'm just trying to give an example, man. Think about if you on the way to the, to uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers game or something like that when LeBron played for them. Nigga, you can the L.A. Lakers game right now. Think you on the way to the L.A. Lakers game, bro, and you riding down. Now we gonna go to football because football is bigger, bro. Picture for you going to the to the. Uh, to the what's the name the uh, the New Orleans Patriots opening day, their first game of the season, bro, and you riding down the street, you got your your uh, Tom Brady jersey on, Bright, proud and happy them up, and you pull up and you got your kids with you, whatever, bro, and they got their Tom Brady jerseys on, and you see uh, Tom Brady stretched out on the concrete, and the kids start crying, and they lose your mind. You gonna like you know what I'm saying like. That's wild, bro. And like, us as black people, we'd be the first one to be like, oh, y'all wild, nigga. Y'all wild. Oh, y'all niggas fire. Like, you got to think, this is front and front. Like, how do you not have the yeah. know to know and that this is Tyreek Hill? the stadium, right, like a block away. So all the players are coming by and seeing it. All the people, you see niggas walking around with his jersey on. That's around. what I'm saying, I'm yeah. like, this is crazy, bro. He looking around like. Y'all out here doing security. Like, y'all out here doing, you know, your job as regular police officer. But y'all are, 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 are down here. Y'all and down here in more numbers right now because of the game is down here this you know exactly. this Sunday. So to not know that like that's like when Cam was in uh, Charlotte, like picture Cam is the face of damn near the Carolinas in the South at this time, and he out there stretched out in front of Bank of America Stadium. Just think of that, bro. Like the biggest like he's the he's the quarterback of the team, bro. They come into this game to see him. We coming to see the Panthers or whatever, but we coming to see him. Now, Tyreek, man, I will say this, Tyreek, you a wild boy, too, though, because you could have probably approached it a little bit differently, you know what I'm saying, with how you were speaking to the nigga. But I can't, the only reason man, I, I debate that is because of the nigga hit my window that hard. I don't, I'm like, yo, I don't care what kind of car I got. I'm going to say something like that. He didn't You know how I am, man. You you don't see me get arrested, yeah, so yeah. you don't see me like, hey, dude. Why you in my shit like that, nigga? Why you changing my pocket? Why you put that in my pocket, nigga? I already know, but he but, didn't do anything. He ain't say nothing wrong, though, bro. Now, he, now the funny thing where I... Not the funny thing, but the, 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 the bad part about the situation is what if he wasn't who he was? That's what if that was just a regular black nigga yeah. that wasn't able to call his agent or his homeboys wasn't 
rolling by coming to the game if there were just the cops out there. He done went to jail. He would have been. He went know, to jail. Probably got some false thing. Yeah. May have got abused. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Probably like, got. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't hemmed got up. Hemmed up. Knee in the back. All this stuff. So I look at it like, damn, bro, y'all doing that to him. Like, I just imagine the just the regular motherfuckers. Right, like, these cops, bro, I'm just going to lie, bro. Just be honest with you, bro. They got to do a better job of screening and doing these evaluations on these cops. Yeah. These aggressive-ass motherfucking cops. Cause, I feel like you shouldn't I be a like cop until you over. It's always a, a, a riding pair in anything you do. There's yeah. always going to be a bad person in the a fire department, going to be a bad nigga in the cop. So y'all got to do a better job of evaluating these niggas because you got these overly aggressive cops like the one that shot the woman in her crib. Yeah. You got these cops. He had did this. He ain't do that before, but he had issues before. So yeah. I don't understand if y'all having a shortage of that. I'm not letting no nigga be no cop that can't pass an evaluation, especially a mental one. Thanks. And like I mean, and just to add on what you're saying, I think that you should not be able to be a cop. This is me, this is my personal opinion. I think you should not be able to be a cop until you're at least 30 years old. Because I think that your brain got to be, you know, really, bro, you know, men, because most cops are men. <laughs> so, yeah. and they say men, you know, brain doesn't really mature in them there until they 30 years old, 32 years old, any damn way. So, they don't start maturing at that time. So, think about you giving a person that's 21 years old, 22 years old, a gun and all that power, man, and they out here just running, you know what I'm saying, running wild like that. Not saying I, that these guys that got him, because these niggas look I mean, a little older. I mean, it can be young but, cops because some of these older ones are the niggas out here doing that. Nigga that did that to Tyreek, that, I think he was Mexican, but he was an older cop. Yeah, I'm just so saying, So, it's not though, even that. I just think it's, I think they need, like I say, better evaluation. evaluation. And then after they pass that evaluation, they need to be giving them every three to six months. And Because what if that person that did that went through a recent tragedy or something like this. You need to have a constant evaluation and we'll know where them niggas' minds is at. Yeah. Basically like with weed tests when they be like, yo, we gonna random drug test you and shit like that. Facts. You should have a random, uh, you know what I'm saying, a random evaluation. mental evaluation every three to six at. months. Where you at with it? Like, I know you don't lost <laughs> your wife or your kid died or something. Let me check where this nigga head And you should have to do um, a random, like not even random, but they should have they, have, they should have a time set in their schedule quarterly, monthly, whatever, where they have to do community relations, bro. Exactly. Like, you gotta go out here and spend time in Get the community. Get them niggas center, out bro. there in that hood in the community. Because if you're not there. used to being over here and you not comfortable being over, you don't want to be here. Yep. Don't, don't be here. Because you're going to come out on some shoot first shit. And you got more of a capacity. You in that community and you patrolling that community and you have relationships in that community. That's why I love to see. I see some cops out here. I seen one the other day in New York doing pull ups with niggas on the block. I seen another one yeah. where he just pulled up in the hood and he was hooping full uniform. You I seen the one cops cop like that. I seen the one cop, bro. He had, uh, let me see, bro. I, I, I think I had pulled it up on there, bro. But I had. This is one cop. Yeah, man. I was trying to find a little thing I had saved on Instagram, but he dog, um, he the, the cops said or the neighbors had called the cops on this these kids out there playing basketball, or whatever. Yeah. And they was what they was doing, they was playing like basketball or just dribbling. They were dribbling the ball in then they driveway, just dribbling the ball. And the pole, the people next door called the police was like they out there loud. They, you know what I'm saying, they out there causing noise. This kid, just regular kids, they was not causing not no problems, bro. Yeah. The cop came. Seen the situation, that nigga went and bought him a basketball round. G shit. <laughs> and came back and went, set it, up, it with up. him. And was hooping with him. That's what I'm talking. You need cops like that. They need to interact with them people so that when they do something or something happens, they're just not shoot first. Yeah. Now they're like, I know this kid or I know this thing. Let me, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? The, That's the world. The, man. the, 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 the uh, People want to put money in anywhere else, man. Put money into that, man. Put money into the that, communities, uh, bro. Put money into them cops, man, that need to definitely build up the community relations if you're going to put money into law enforcement or anything, man. Yeah. But you get new cruises and shit. That's new cruises, cool. man. Niggas riding the Chevrolets, all right, man. <laughs> but episode 80, man. Uh, another one in the books, man. Yes, sir. Uh, we ain't missing nothing out there, did we, man? No, everything is covered, man. Episode 80. Episode 80, man. Um... We're going to go up, man. Like I said, I appreciate all the new subscribers out there, man. We own our goal right now. We own our ding. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like, we had, what, we had like 890 right now or something like that? Yeah, we closing in like 110. We're going to get to that road to a 1,000 subs, yeah. road to 100 episodes, man. Everything is kind of lining up. Can we I mean? make it to... Well, I know we should, man. We should make it nah, to the subscribers we, before we make it all the way to Nah, episode. we definitely got to make it, man. I'm thinking like... I'm thinking like... 85, 84. Man, I'm thinking 81, 82. <laughs> Run you know this up, man. Run this up, man. 80, man. 
I want to see us get to a thousand subscribers, man. On this, man. Let's do it, yeah, man. Like got, this video now, man. Yes, sir. Like it up, man. We got a lot of stuff coming when we start going live. A lot of stuff going to change. It's going to be dope. Y'all going to love it. Yeah, man. The yeah, live man. show is going to be crazy, man. Gonna be live crazy, show's man. Gonna be crazy, man. But before we get out of here, man, Duffy, man, shout out to our sponsors, man. BlackOnArtisanWater.com. Make sure y'all check that out, man. Also, man, OfficialH2Woe.com, man. They running off the shelves with theirs, man. Whoa. It's definitely, man, out there, man. Um, check your, you know, your local 7-Eleven, man. If you got those in your city, your state, man, make sure you be on the lookout for that. OfficialH2Woe.com. Um, also, um, I'm a DJ tonight. I'm going to DJ tonight, man. We missed it, man, because bro, man, uh, birthday last week, man. Yeah, he, we was too turned up, man. He was turned. He wanted to hit the county fair. That might have been the best man. time. We was in this motherfucker on 10. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, another one, man. This man, this touched me, man. Like I said, really, me all right, man. Rest in peace to Frankie Beverly, man. Oh, yeah, man. Rest in peace, Frankie Beverly, man. That's Rest in peace, man. Legend. I think I may do oldies tonight, bro, man. Uh, that's me, man. That's what I call You know, Will's no, I, I guess, you know, I guess the oldies going, bro. That boy is an Osley brother player. Man, nine, <laughs> I do, I do 89 and under, bro. The whispers. Do that, bro. 89 and under, bro. Cameo. Cameo, bro. You know, Rick man. Rick James. Man, but what you got out here, man? Well, you know, hey, man, I'm cooling out, man. Your boy back in the studio, man. So y'all will be getting some new music from me. I'm thinking about dropping some. Probably, um, I don't want to put a time on it. Probably about the October, beginning of October, I might drop a song out there, man. And uh, we can drop an album out there, nigga. Nah, we, 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 we dropping singles, man. We dropping singles, man. And then we gonna see what it do, man. And uh, make sure if y'all got the beats, rapping ass will beats, man. It should be somewhere. Y'all see my hand. Marv gonna put that there. Shout out my boy Marv, man. Rapping <laughs> ass beats at G will, uh, Gmail. Um, rapping ass will beats at gmail.com. Uh, GT Gaming 989. Check me out, man. On um, Madden 2K, we going hard. Rapping ass wills on all platforms. Make sure you go download that. New drops coming soon. But, man, we working, man. We trying to get to that next level on the game. Yes, sir, man. man. And make sure, man, when y'all thinking of beats, man, Grand Poobah type beats. Hey, send man. <laughs> get those, send those, man. Them the ones he like, bro, man. Slow and you know to the what point. But uh, Duffy, man, uh, y'all follow us on IG, man, 3M on Whittier. One on IG, man. We going up on there every day, new content. Uh, Duffy, man, everyone that, you know, tapped in again, man, that is subscribed to the page, man. Everyone that like, comment, comment on here, man, share these videos. We got nothing but love for y'all, man. It's a family, man. So definitely appreciate, appreciate everything y'all do. Um, also, man, um, again, man, follow me on Coach JR, man, on all social media platforms. Yes, and tonight, man, like I said, man, I'm gonna go up, man, on Twitch, man. We're gonna do some things over there, man. If your mom's there, your granny there. Uh, tell them, man, I'm about to play the oldies. Play yeah. The oldies, man. But until next time, man, episode 80, man. Shout out our producer Marv, man. Make sure y'all, man, hit him up, man. Uh, we gonna see y'all next week, 81. We going up, bro. Yes, sir. To time, man. Until next time, man. Bow. Gang, gang. Thirsty.